occasion. Let's go down to Sandra Neal. It's been 20 years since Dorothy Hamill struck Olympic gold, becoming America's sweetheart in the process. Today, her graceful and athletic style is welcome in pro competitions. Over the years, Dorothy has faced hardship, but says every time she skates, she feels joy. And some say today, her edge quality is better than ever. In 1976, the world held its collective breath, watching a talented, beautiful young woman skate flawlessly in Innsbruck, Austria. Dorothy Hamill won the gold medal and a lot of hearts, yet she barely realized it. I was a naive youngster. I mean, I was a kid. I was 19 years old. And it was just kind of what I did. Some kids take piano lessons, some kids are good students. So I just love skating. And so winning the Olympics, although it seems like a big deal to most people, sacrifice and all that, it really was just sort of what I did and did like no one else, whether she knew it or not. I knew if I skated well that there was a chance that I could win, you know, a gold medal. Um, but, you know, I wasn't thinking, oh, I'm going to be Olympic champion or anything like that. I really just wanted to skate well. And she did. Well enough that time hasn't diminished our memories of that younger girl. It's funny today, though, you know, there are a lot of parents who bring their children, or moms that bring their children to see me skate and tell me that they had my hair cut and all that, so. But the frightening thing, you know, it was 20 years ago today, so people that are 20 were just barely born, you know, they don't know who I am. <laughs> but their moms do. <laughs> if they really don't know her now, they will soon, because for Dorothy, time on the ice is still golden. It's still a challenge for me. There's still a lot of things to learn. I love it. I really love it. It's the one place that I can go and kind of forget about all the troubles and worries and just kind of escape. Like Fred Astaire, she's always made it look easy. But this legend knows it takes hard work, hours of practice, and perspective. I'm not trying to fool myself. I'm 40 years old. And, um... These kids are barely 30, and, you know, I'm not trying to prove anything, except that, you know, they've invited me to skate, so I'm here, because I like it, and... <laughs> no question about it, Dorothy Hamill has had an enormous impact on figure skating here in the division. But she is not the only competitor in this competition. There are many other women who have really made their mark in ladies' figure skating. Rosalind Sumner's, of course, world champion, Olympic medalist, she is really in great shape because she has so many touring dates wow. scheduled, and that has really put her in a good way for this competition. Liz Manley, she is the defending champion. Last year, she came out on the ice and really did a good job with great jumps and a lot of feeling throughout her performance. And Katarina Witt. Well, what can you say other than two-time Olympic gold medalist is here to compete in practice earlier today, she said, I'm not quite too sure why I'm doing this, but I think it's the right thing. She's skating quite well, and Katarina has incredible competitive spirit, so it will be very interesting. She was already the reigning Olympic gold medalist from Sarajevo in 1984. But in 88, Katarina Witt collected another gold. Competing for East Germany, Katarina outskated America's Debbie Thomas in that famous Battle of the Carmens, winning her second consecutive Olympic gold. I think the happiness always came out later for me. You know, I wish you're so young and you never really realize what it means to be in a way for me to be there. And really being an adult and knowing what it means, the Olympics to the world and what it means to an athlete, it's such a big difference. Even if you're, 20, you're not really taking advantage of it, still you're not really understand what's going on. It's sort of like, you know, you're young, you're taking it for granted, and it's sort of a waste of success a little bit, you know, because you don't really... I have to say, worldwide, probably the most popular woman in figure skating today. What an accomplishment to win two Olympic gold medals.